Hey YouTubians, Miss Coop. Yes, this is a wash day for me. Um, so I wanted to get on here because um, one of my viewers was saying that my curls were popping and so I wanted to show you what it was that I do. I have my hair separated into four sections. Well, six sections. Somebody can't count. <laughs> I have my hair separated into six sections. So I have two here, two in the middle, and two in the back. Prior to... Um, putting them up I um, put some coconut oil in my hair as sort of a pre-poo um, I did a deep treatment a deep conditioning treatment last weekend and so I'm not going to do one this weekend because um, I don't want to overdo it but I did pre-poo my hair um, so I'm going to just go ahead and jump in the shower and I'm going to wash or uh, co-wash my hair. I use this um, coconut uh, cleansing pudding by Ren Pure. I absolutely love this conditioner, uh, condition wash or uh, cleansing pudding. And uh, I've started using this. Um, I can't tell you when I started using it, but I've been using it for a while and I love it. Um, I've been picking it up from the um, from the TJ Maxx in my community. Uh, they seem to have hordes and hordes and hordes of it. And so I've been picking it up every time I go in, I'll pick up a bottle of this. Um, so let me get my hair clean and I'll get back. With okay, guys, I'm back. One thing I've noticed, have you ever looked at your, right at the very beginning where your baby hairs are to see exactly where how your hair twists or how your hair curls I've noticed that my hair curls like that that's how my hair curls and it's probably a good suggestion if when um, doing finger coils to your hair that you do your curls that way so that or in the direction that your actual curls come in and I noticed that my curls come in that way I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's mixed with my gray hair. So um, that was one of the things that I noticed. And so um, my hair is freshly washed. Okay, freshly washed. Um, and hopefully you're able to see my curl pattern. Um, I use that Ren Pure uh, cleansing pudding followed by uh, an oil rinse. And then I put the uh, Tresemme um, Un... What is it called? Un... Ugh, I'll think of the name in a second. Do I have some under here? No. It's it's called Undone or something like that. I can't remember right now. It's in the shower. I'll show it to you later. Anyway, and um, this is basically um, what the hair turns out like. Now, one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to use that lock method and I'm going to start with my um, conditioner. And today, I'm saying today because I could switch off. <laughs> but today, my conditioner of choice is the Kinky Curly Knot today. Okay. My entire hair, I'm going to put a nice healthy amount in there. And do it one time and hopefully I have it on all of my strands the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 50 50 amount of castor oil and olive oil this is a 50 50 two ounces of castor oil two ounces of olive oil and I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in my head um, particularly concentrating on my scalp Okay, I think that'll about do it as far as my scalp is concerned. I'm going to go ahead and work that in. And then I'm going to put me some in my hand. And this, this part right here is to focus in on my ends and my hair shaft. So I've done my leave-in. This is my oil with my hair into four distinct sections. So these are my four sections. Four sections. 
two in the front, two in the back. I'm going to use my Eco Styler gel <laughs> and I'm using the dark one, my Eco Styler today. This is my um, product of choice for styling my hair. It's my Eco Styler. And it has a hold of eight. Plus, I don't get a lot of crunchiness. I don't get, you know what? I said I don't get a lot of crunchiness. I don't get any crunchiness. Um, so, I'm going to start with the back of my hair. Um, it is very important, and I know you hear this time and time again, that you have some water on hand. There is nothing in here but water, just water. And I'm going to spray that. Make sure it's nice and wet. It's all ready. Let me move some of this stuff out of your way. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and detangled. And as you can see, it's nice and detangled. And I like to start like mid-shaft. Okay? Mid-shaft. And work my way up the shaft. Make sure I cover all of the um, pieces. Now, it's also important that um, you make sure you hit those roots so that um, you don't get any puff. Now, you probably at this point have watched so many wash and go videos that this is probably ho hum to you. And uh, that's why. And I'm not going to take you through it. Take a look at that. Okay. See how it looks. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish my hair. And I'll come back to you once I'm done. I thought I'd come back since I done made my way to the front of my hair. And uh, give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing here. So basically what I do is um, I spray the O'Hare with some water, okay, and I try to make sure that I don't have any tangles in there, which I don't, woohoo, okay, I think this chunk is probably just a tad bit too big for me, I'm gonna, there we go. And I'm going to use a little bit of my mm -hmm. there we go. And I like to smooth it. I like to rub it until I know it's as smooth as, as smooth can be. Now I see my hair or I feel my hair in the back separating. Okay, let me put a little spin on each one of those. Mm -hmm. I like a little spin. Not much, but a little. Mm -hmm. Smooth. You just know it's the fun. The hair on this side of my head is a lot different than the hair on the other side of my hair. On the other side of my head. Um, but I tend to get the job done. All right, so I'm all done. And um, I want to... Okay, so I'm all done. I want to spray it down with some water. I think water encourages the um, curls to come in. Hopefully I'm not getting any water on you gets my hair up off of its scalp. Okay. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is um, later on, after it's dry, let's see what we're looking like here. After it's dry, I will uh, come back and let you see what it looks like. And of course, when I come back, I'm going to be prepped and primed. So... This is my wash and go, and uh, 
Give me some time. I'll get back. Okay. With you. So I'm still very wet. Um, I've dried up a great deal. My hair has dried up, but you'll still see some residuals. Uh, that's a cross between gray hair and product that's in my hair. And you'll notice that there's some very um, sculptured curls at the top. And these curls come from me taking the uh, piece here, a uh, piece of hair, and just wrapping it around my comb as such while my hair is still wet. And then just sliding it off while my hair is still wet. That's one way. Another thing that I do, and um, uh, in some of the drier portions, although I found that it's better to do when um, my hair is still partly damp, um, I made this little um, curling wand. Um, so, and this was the smallest barrel I can find. And I made this small one. I just took the, the, the clamper portion off of it. But one of the things that I do with this is um, I'll turn it on for a couple of seconds to just let it get warm to the touch. Once it gets warm to the touch, then what I do is I turn it off and I find the clump of hair closest to my face. And I do the same thing as far as wrapping the hair around, um, around my hair. Okay, so... Um, I've never said that I'm opposed to heat to my hair and my, um, my thing has always been, will I heat, would I add heat to my hair again? Probably. And so here is a time where I'm adding a little heat and I do mean a little heat and I only do a few curls toward the front. Now, um, the further back I get, it doesn't make sense to use it back here. So I only use it toward the front of my hair. You know, here's my makeup, you know. Uh, later on during the week, uh, as my hair gets older, uh, what I will do is I will use my blow dryer and blow my roots out. I generally don't do that on the first day because blowing my roots out um, while it's in this state right here, I like it to be like this. I just like it like this here for a little while, and then as the week goes on, I like to um, I'll blow it out a little bit more. And, of course, you know, I can always wet the ends and wrap it around if I want. And if I want bigger curls, then, of course, I'll use my handmade uh, curling wand. Oh, it's on. Uh, yeah, my handmade curling wand. So, uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Um... My lipstick, <laughs> I got my lipstick right here from the Dollar General store. Let me see, is there a color on here? No. Uh, and so therefore, I don't know what color this is, but I got it from the Dollar General store. And it was what? A dollar. <laughs> so, uh, and it was a very beautiful pink. Um, my lip liner I did was the um, Night Moth. Night Moth. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's Night Moth. Can you focus on that? Okay, good. It's Night Moth. And um, my brows is by Tarte. You see my brows. And my foundation is by MAC. And um, my eyes are by L'Oreal. Palette number two, just in case you were wondering. So I want to thank you all for keeping a sister strong. I got a little Christmas shopping I'm going to do for the family. Uh, yes, I am going to do some Christmas shopping. Not much. I'm, you know, trying to keep my dollars and cents in, ch in check. Um, and I've never been one for spending a lot of money. My kids always got one gift, one gift that they really wanted, and one educational gift. My kids are grown now, so normally I try to get very practical gifts for them. So, again, like I said, I want to thank you all for keeping the sister strong. Hopefully, this will answer some of your questions about my wash and goes. Do you want to see the back? Here's the back. You probably see that it's still wet. Okay, and um, check in with me sometimes. See how I'm doing. Like I'm checking in with you to see how you doing. Okay, so I will be seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon.